means a lot to me knowing that you guys have missed me. It means a lot to me knowing that you still look forward to my content even after all this while. I feel loved. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm super excited to be back. I'm, I'm so glad, I'm so happy. In fact, my heart is very full. If I can open my chest and show you my heart, you will see how full it is. I'm so, so happy. It's been so long. It's been so, so long. Thank you very much to everyone who has reached out to me via SMS, uh, who have tried to call me to find out why I'm no longer posting videos regularly, and uh, who have just encouraged me to come back, telling me how much they've missed me. It means a lot to me knowing that you guys have missed me. It means a lot to me knowing that you still look forward to my content, even after all this while. I feel loved, okay, that you take me as family, you take me as your friend. I'm so, so excited. Shout out to you guys. You guys are the real MVIPs. If you're just coming in for the first time here, if you're new here, welcome to my YouTube channel. Do want to click on the subscribe button so that you get notified each time we post um, our videos because I'm going to be a bit more regular now because I'm back. I'm finally back after two whole years. It's been so long, okay? I think the last time I posted a live video was um like uh, I recorded that video was in April 2021. So that was after my wedding and before I found out I was pregnant. Like I said, I've had a series of events, activities, and you know, roller coaster of emotions. I got married in March 2022, and I think sometime in May I started becoming sick and feeling this abdominal cramp. I had to book in a scan to go see a doctor. And then something uh, um, told me that, um, what if you're pregnant? It just hit me that I could be pregnant. Um, I had not missed my period then, so I got a home test kit, which was like an early pregnancy test kit. So I got one, and when I got home from work that day, um, I went straight to the bathroom and I did a test. So this test is the one that crosses, one line crosses over the other. It's not like the regular one we have where there are two lines so when i did it there were there was actually a cross and the line was a bit faint so i came out my husband was in the ba um, bedroom so i came to him and i gave him the test the strip like the test strip he was just looking at it he was like what am i looking at i was like is there a cross can you see a cross like is there a line crossing the other is there a faint line crossing the other board line maybe let me know if i'm lying or i can see he told me that there is a line crossing what does it mean? Does it mean we're pregnant? I say yes. So he literally jumped up from the bed. He was so excited. We were so happy. I think I actually recorded his voice. I didn't want to make a video then because I didn't want him to know. Like, like I didn't want to let him on on what was happening. So I just recorded his um, reaction, his verbal reaction. And uh, we were so excited. We danced. We started to praise God. We started to pray. I think I have a video where we were praying. I think I'll, I'll put that, I'll add that somewhere in this video. I have a video where we're dancing and praising God and praying and all of that. And the journey began, okay? I didn't start feeling sick sick, like nausea and vomiting up uh, until I was about eight weeks. So at about eight weeks, I was already beginning to feel sick. I, I I couldn't perceive the smell of food. I couldn't go into the kitchen. First and second trimester, my husband was the one in the kitchen. God bless him for me because he was the one cooking, was the one trying to encourage me to eat, but I couldn't get anything down without feeling sick or throwing up. So what I could tolerate then was um, smoothies really helped me because it didn't have any smell and it tasted very sweet. So um, I used to have smoothies and then a lot of water and then I started to have um, crackers because it's like bland so it was perfect for me so I used to chew on crackers um, whenever I feel nausea or maybe my stomach is very, sometimes when your stomach is very empty you begin to feel nauseated so sometimes I take crackers and I take smoothies and I take a lot of water and then I, I fell in love with because before pregnancy I never used to drink any juice that is not from fresh fruits so I never used to drink juice from concentrate. But when I got pregnant, everything I drank was from concentrate because they tested like heaven. <laughs> like they tested so differently and I could tolerate that. So I had to take um, juice uh, drinks from concentrate. And um, what else, what else, what else did I even eat then? Chinese um, egg fried rice. 
egg fried rice so i had a lot of egg fried rice you know egg fried rice is like bland it doesn't really have vegetables it's, it only had the rice fried rice and the eggs they were not in it they were so basic and bland so if, i think during my second trimester i could eat that once every day once every day that was what i really ate because you know for a lot of people after the first trimester the um, nausea and vomiting will disappear but mine continued to after my second trimester okay it was when i got to my third trimester that i even started to crave for food you know local rice i started to crave for um pepper soup and now uh, local african delicacies you know but before then i couldn't tolerate nothing okay i only had to take my supplements and at some point even my baby became um they told me that my baby was a bit smaller than her age so i had to take this uh pregnant care it's like a supplement which really helped my baby so after two or three weeks i stopped taking it because by then i went for my next can and my baby was big enough for her age so i stopped taking it and went back to taking the folic acid um with vitamin d okay so i was really trying my best to take my supplement even though i wasn't taking them every day i wouldn't lie <laughs> i wasn't really taking them every day but i tried my best to take um each time i remember and each time i could tolerate it or each time i could take water i tried my best to take my supplement so um apart from my supplement um my husband would always encourage me he will always encourage me baby please try and eat something he will cook he will cook he cooked eh? He cooked, he became a very perfect um, chef. That was why when I was like in my third trimester, oh my God, I would prefer his cooking even to, to my own. He really, 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 really was very supportive. He went to uh, all my scans with me. He was just there through the journey. He was just there through the journey. And it was very a very pleasant experience because of him. It was a very pleasant experience because of him. So it was like a long nine months okay and i thought that was the most difficult part you know you know when i got to the third trimester i started to eat well fry for puff eat anything that i craved for i had a very good time in my last trimester like my first trimester where i lost a lot of weight you know from 72 i came down to 64.5 and then by my third trimester when i started to eat my weight came back to almost 80 before i had my baby so by the time i had my baby in january 2023 i was still in shape i was like i don't know 81 82 like that i was still in shape even though i'd gained a little more weight so my baby arrived you know i thought pregnancy was a difficult part okay until my baby arrived so when i didn't make a video for almost one year i was like no problem once my baby arrives i will go back to making videos <laughs> guess what pregnancy is the easy part like the very very easy part okay when the baby came everything um was just revolving around the baby everything was about the baby you're just talking about how this baby fits well you're just talking about how the di diapers are regularly changed you bathe the baby actually i didn't bathe her for 10 days you know the midwife encouraged not to bathe her for 10 days on or until the you know the novel thing until i had fallen off so her own fell off about six or seven day and i think i had bitted her around eight or ninth day i think almost 10 days that was when i gave her, her first bath but it didn't mean that i wasn't cleaning her up i was cleaning her up even her body but i didn't really give her the proper bath where you pour the water and wash her and all of that because i really wanted that never to actually dry up okay so i didn't really give her a proper bath to about um 10 days um old but from then, oh my God, everything, even though my mom came and spotted me for a couple of months before going back, when she went back, it became worse. It was as if I was getting, you're my family, so I'll tell you. So it was as if I was, I was just overwhelmed. My husband was supporting, but you know, he was actually working more to support us. And then when he comes back late at night, he's also exhausted and it would be selfish of me to tell him not to get any sleep because he'll be going back the next day to work so most times i'll just tell him to go and get some rest while i'll be struggling with the baby my baby had which hour she would cry through the night she would sleep in the day she had a lot of um a lot of um traveling time when she was very young oh my god it was very overwhelming at some point my mood was very very low and what really saved me was um, supplements because I was not even taking the supplements after giving birth. So when my mood started to become very, very low, 
feeling sad, feeling depressed. I said, what is this? Do I need to see? Because I spoke to my nurse about it and um, she, she said she was going to prescribe something for me. And I spoke to my um, GP about it as well. They said they were going to prescribe something for me. And if it doesn't help, they will do a referral, this and that. I think they made a prescription for me. I got it, but I never took it. I never took it. I just started to try some supplements. So I bought Well Woman, the gummies, because I don't like to swallow tablets or capsules. So I bought the gummies, the one I can chew. When I used the gummies for about four or five days, it was as if my mood was lifted. It was as if I felt so better. I felt so okay. I felt so strong. I felt like back to my normal self. I was very happy within me. In a week, I was back to normal. So I started to breathe in. It could have been maybe a deficiency or insufficiency of maybe vitamin D or any other vitamins or any other minerals in my body. Could be that I'm not getting enough nutrients from what I'm, I was eating. So um, the supplement really helped. It really helped. I would encourage you, whether single, whether married, whether um, have the childbearing age or not, I would encourage you to take supplements. They really, really help. I, and I recommend Well Woman. Well Woman really worked wonders for me okay so i came back to my normal self i've been trying to nurture my baby trying to my baby is, is a big girl now now she's up to one year she's she's walking crawling climbing the stairs moving around doing a lot of things for herself which is why i actually decided to come back and start my youtube videos now she does things she keeps herself company she entertains herself plays with her toy and even though she doesn't have any interest in tv programs or maybe her tablets or anything she doesn't have interest in the phones or you know screens but she entertains herself even though she might end up tearing the books she just keeps herself busy which is the main reason i've decided to come back and continue with my um videos okay it's been it's been it's been quite a lot you know getting married being a new wife getting pregnant going through your first pregnancy and having a child you know new to motherhood is it takes a lot of adjusting it takes a lot of adjusting and i think i can say that i've really adjusted well to it i've really adapted i've really um learned a pattern that really works for me and my family and uh yeah you know combining work with child care especially in the uk is not easy you can ask anyone living in the uk it's not easy but i promise you guys I promise you at least one video a week at least one video a week i'll carry you along with what i'm doing um because i have I have very great plans for me and my family very big plan you can't wait to see my next video okay i will tell you all about it like i know i said what is next i have a next step and it's a very massive one it's a very great news trust me you'll be very happy for me you'll be very very excited for me I can't wait to tell you all about it in my next video. I promised myself that I'm not going to make this video very long because I just want to come in and say, hey guys, I'm back. <laughs> and to tell you how excited I am, okay, to, to be back to you guys, okay. So I'm not going to make this video any longer than it is. I'm back. My baby is fine. My husband is fine. My marriage is bubbly and fine. And look at me now, I'm fine. Even though I've gained a lot of weight. I'm doing a weight loss journey, which is working for me. You know, after after I had I had my baby during breastfeeding because I really wanted my breast to be flowing. I think I started to eat a lot, and I gained weight. I got up to 95 kg, my friends. 95 kg. Now I've lost some of the weight. I've come down to 83 now because I'm using a meal supplement and I'm doing a weight loss journey. So um, and in a couple of weeks, I think about three weeks. I came down from 95 to 83 which means what i'm doing is working and i'll continue to do it don't worry i'll tell you all about my weight loss journey i'll tell you all about it um the products i've been using the things i've been doing have been uh, using my new supplements and all of that i'll tell you all about it in another video um uh, but now i'm just i'm back i'm back i'm happy to be back I'm happy to be back nice to have you all back here <laughs> i don't know how i feel but i know that i'm very very excited to be back okay until i see you in my next video to tell you about this big plan this very great mighty plan that i have for myself and my family that god has for us stay blessed 
love yourself be happy be kind to the people around you okay you don't know what people are going to everyone is going through a lot in this in this uh time okay this time things are really happening people are really struggling please the the, the best thing you can do to anyone you meet is being kind to them okay i love you all until i see you in my next video take care of yourself do well to like this video click on the subscribe button and notification bell by the side i love you so much kisses love from me and my family love from me and my family <laughs> bye